Hi, welcome to this tutorial. Let's talk about how to operate the VLink 4. The VLink 4 is a video and audio over IP based system. So in that way we will build up a cloud of pictures and sound. We will put pictures and sound encoded in the cloud and we will be able to take them out anywhere else. Let's have a closer look to our setup. Here we have one VLink 4. Because the VLink 4 has a factory built in switch, we can connect one of the gigabit ports, or even two to have a higher bandwidth, or even a 10 gig link to our switch over here. In the room next door, we have another VLink 4 which is as well connected on CAT5 to the switch. In this way we build a network with all the VLink 4s connected to it. Next to me there is a PC, connected to the same network as the VLink 4. If you want to know the IP address from the VLink 4, you can take a pen and push the default IP button in the front of the VLink 4. The IP address will then be shown on the multi-viewer output from the VLink 4. Let's have a look to the graphical user interface now. Similar as with the VPro 8, we can take our web browser, for example Chrome, and just go to the IP address of the VLink 4. first page we see is the login page. We enter the GUI by pressing this button. Similar to the VPro 8, we see two sections, an upper section and if we push one of these buttons, we see a lower section, which gives us more options. The status menu gives us an overview of, for example, the video inputs, the MADI in and outputs, some details about the running system, details about the streams we will receive with the VLink 4, encoding performances, port statistics, group management protocol details, different connections and alerts. If we press video in, we can choose all the incoming pictures. Below we find details like timecode or PPM metering. Here we can enable or disable the frame synchronizer and the sample rate converters or add delay. If we close this and we go to audio input, we see all the incoming audio channels from the first MADI connection or the second if it's not redundant. In the video out menu, we can make the actual cross points. We can set up delay on the video or the audio channels, make conversions like we know from the VPro 8, as well color correction. We can do level adjustments or do down mixes. Here we can embed the down mixes, clean up or add some ancillary data, enable a test pen and set up our timing. As you can see, all these functionalities we know from the VPro 8 we can find as well in the VLink 4, which makes the VLink 4 very versatile. Once you feel home with one product from the VLine, you feel home with the other one as well. Let's continue. If I close this menu, and I go to audio out, I can choose which signals to send on the MADI output. I can take them from the inputs, I can take audio channels from the embedded signals onto the outgoing signals, I can take incoming MADI channels, I can set up delay and level adjustments. This menu item is very similar to the VPro 8. We can set up our multi-viewer. We can take inputs or outputs and set up some overlay details. Here we can set up the output format, which can be selectable or follows the genlock.
With the V-Link 4, we can do as well audio-video sync measurements. In this timing window, we see an overview of the incoming channels and the outgoing channels. We can set up our reference and our dedicated reference output. Timecode details we can find here as well. Last but not least, we have the settings menu where we can set up details about the network, we can do a software update, load or restore settings, set up time and date, insert a license key, and finally, very important, set up the details about our encoders and deencoders. Imagine you have a lot of feeling force in the network. You will need to be able to send streams from one VLink 4 to the other. We will do that with virtual cabling and we have a special software for that. It's called Stream Director. Let's have a closer look. This is Stream Director. Because the VLink 4 automatically sends broadcast messages over the network, they will pop up automatically in this layout. If not, we can add them manually. This is my VLink 4 in my rack. This is the VLink 4 in the room next door. With this piece of software we will be able to send pictures from one VLink 4 to the other with virtual cabling. With this program Stream Director we will be able to make IP stream connections from one VLink 4 to the other. How we will do that in detail I will tell you later in another tutorial. Thank you for watching.